This video will teach students how to create fractions, decimals, and percentages using Skittles. First, buy a bag of Skittles or M&Ms. Either will do. Then, you will want to count out how many Skittles you will use. We used 50. For a practice exercise, take a look at your Skittles and guess how many of each color you have. Write down your guesses. As you can see here, I guessed I had 6 red, 9 yellow, 12 purple, 14 green, and 9 orange. Now it's time to separate your Skittles by color into groups. Make sure you don't eat any Skittles until the end because this will mess up your final numbers. Add up the number of Skittles you have for each color. Were you close to your guesses? Write down the actual number of Skittles you have for each color in the actual column. My actual numbers were 5 red, 8 yellow, 13 purple, 13 green, and 11 orange. I chose to use 50 Skittles because this is an easy number to convert to a fraction, decimal, and percentage. 50 is the total amount of Skittles I have, so it is my denominator. The number of Skittles I have for each color will be the numerator. For example, I have 5 red Skittles, so my fraction is 5 red Skittles over 50 total Skittles. Create a fraction for each of your Skittle colors. Then try and add your fractions up. All of your Skittles are part of a whole. The whole is the denominator, or in my case, the number 50. This number remains the same. Add together all of your numerators. It should equal your denominator. All of your parts should equal the whole. Now it's time to convert your fraction to a decimal. I'm going to multiply my denominator by 2, so it will equal 100. 100 is a very easy number to convert to a decimal or a percentage. If you use 25 Skittles instead of 50, you would multiply your denominator by 4 to equal 100. With all fractions, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So I multiplied my numerator by 2 as well. Time to multiply all of your fractions. When I multiply my red Skittle fraction, 5 times 2 equals 10 in my numerator, and 50 times 2 equals 100 in my denominator. So my fraction is 10 over 100. This will make it easier to convert my fraction to decimals and percentages. Do this for all of your fractions now. When you've multiplied all of your fractions so the denominators equal 100, you can now convert your fractions into decimals. I have created three boxes to show the ones, tenths, and hundredths place of a decimal. All of your fractions are part of a whole, so your ones place will always be zero. The blue dot on my page is the decimal. I am now going to fill my tenths and hundredths place with the numbers from my fractions. For my red Skittle fraction, or 10 over 100, the numerator, or 10, will be split up into the tenths and hundredths place. 1 goes in the tenth, and 0 goes in the hundredths. Do this for all of your numbers now. When you're ready, it is time to convert your fraction to a percentage. Having the denominator be 100 will again help us convert our fraction easily. The numerator of your fraction, when 100 is your denominator, is your percentage. So, 10 over 100 is also 10%. I hope this video was helpful and fun when it comes to working with fractions, percentages, and decimals. Now, enjoy your Skittles. You deserve it. Don't forget to check out the McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center's website and blog at www.starhop.com for more STEM activities, videos, and crafts daily.